This is a lovely demonstration of how electromagnetic induction could be used to measure the speed of a turbine, or maybe even wind speed. I've attached a pair of neodymium magnets onto each of the turbine blades, and when I turn on the desk fan, the turbine starts to rotate. This means that the magnets pass over the coil, which has got an iron core, and because the magnetic field around the coil is changing, then we get an induced potential difference across the coil. As it turns faster, the magnetic field is changing at a higher rate, so we get a larger induced potential difference, and there is less time between each induced potential difference because the magnets arrive more often. I recommend gluing the magnets onto the turbine blades to reduce the risk of them flying off, but it should still be done behind a safety screen. Something interesting happens at this speed, where the blades appear to stop, and there now appear to be six of them. Let's watch them again appear to stop and be six of them. I've paused the video at this point and we can try and understand why it appears to be stopped and why there appeared to be six of them. Remember, the oscilloscope trace is showing potential difference in the up-down direction and time across here. So if we look at the oscilloscope trace, the whole time across here represents one second. And if you count up, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 complete traces. And because there are three blades, each with a magnet on them, that means that there have been 15 times a third of a rotation of the turbine in one second. But the frame rate of the video that I was using was 30 frames per second. That means there are two frames for each third of a rotation of the turbine blade, which means that one is recorded in the position shown now, and another where it has returned halfway until it would be appear in the same position. And that's why it appears stopped, but with six blades. Let's now continue the video and see it getting faster. And we can see that the induced potential difference is still getting bigger and the time between those is getting smaller. And then if I turn the fan off, then gradually we can see that it slows down and the induced potential difference gets smaller and it gets further apart in time on the oscilloscope trace. This same idea appears in exam questions where you might have a device to measure wind speed, to measure the flow rate of oil, or to measure the speed of rotation of a turbine. 